Radical expressions, question 3. Rationalize numerator, square root 5 plus square root 2 divided by square root 2. Now, rationalize numerator means we will multiply both numerator and denominator by the conjugate of numerator. Okay? So, we can write this expression as square root 5 plus square root 2 divided by square root 2 times square root 5 minus square root 2 divided by square root 5 minus square root 2. Now square root 5 minus square root 2 is the conjugate of square root 5 plus square root 2, right? Now why do we do this? We do it to get rid of radicals from the numerator. So rationalizing here means that multiply with a term so that you can write this in the form of integer ratios. So that will help us convert this radical into integers. And I'll show you how. 1. Most of you know the formula which is a plus b times a minus b is equals to a square minus b square, right? So here we have an expression which is a plus b, a square root 5, b square root 2 times a minus b and we should get a square minus b square. So square of square root 5 is 5, so we get 5 minus square of square root 2, which is 2. So we get 5 minus 2. Right? So that's what we should get. Now let's do it in radicals and see what do we really get, right? So we have square root 5 plus square root 2 times square root 5 minus square root 2. And this is equals to square root 5 times square root 5 is, let me write first, 25. Square root 5 times minus 2 will be minus square root of 10. Then we'll multiply by square root 2, right? Distributive property will give us plus square root of 10. And square root 2 times minus of square root 2 is plus times minus is minus square root of 4, right? Now square root of 25 is 5. Minus square root 10 plus square root 10 is 0. So let me write this as 0. And then we have minus of square root of 4, which is 2. So we get 5 minus 2. Do you see that? So we get 5 minus 2, right? So that is what I'm trying to say. So when you multiply by the conjugate, then you get rid of the radical, right? Because you get square of this. So we could write this as square root 5 times square root 5 will give square root 5 square which is 5 minus square root 2 square which is 2 over we get square root 2 times square root 5 minus square root 2 and 5 minus 2 is 3 so we get 3 over square root of 2 times 5 is 10 and square root 2 minus square root 2 is 2 or square root 4 as we wrote square root 4 and then you can write 2 right so it's one of the same so that is what we get after rationalizing now remember sis when we multiplied and divided by square root 5 minus 2 we effectively multiplied by 1 only right so multiplying by 1 doesn't really change the expression and therefore this expression is same as this so we should write equal to here also right so this is equal to this and that's the step to rationalize so when we rationalize we multiply and divide by its conjugate right and here i've shown you the steps just to be absolutely clear you don't have to do all these steps from here you get this straight a plus b times a minus b is a square minus b square right so these three steps lead you to rationalization of the numerator that is for you to understand Thanks, and I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.